Save and export video and animations. Save and export video and animations. How to save and, and export video and animations? By the way, Photoshop versions earlier than Photoshop CC. Some functionality discussed in this article may be available, by the way, only if you have Photoshop extended. And Photoshop doesn't have a separate extended offering. And all features in Photoshop extended are part of Photoshop, by the way. And after you have created video or animation content in Photoshop, you can easily optimize, render, and export it. And what about video and animation export formats? What about video and animation export formats? By the way, you can save animations as GIF files for viewing on the web. And video and animations can be saved as QuickTime moves or BSD files. And if you are not rendering your work to video, then saving the file as PDF is best because it preserves and is edits and saves the file in a format that's supported by Adobe Digital Video Applications and Mini Motion Picture Editing Applications, by the way. And how to optimize animation frames? How to optimize animation frames? By the way, after you complete your animation, optimize it for efficient download to a web browser and you optimize an animation in two ways. The first way, optimize the frames to include only areas that change from frame to frame. This greatly reduce, reduces the file, the file size of the animated GIF file. And the second option, if you are saving your animation as a GIF image, optimize it as you would any GIF image. And a special dithering technique is applied to, to animations to ensure that dither patterns are consistent across all frames and to prevent flickering during playback. And due to this additional optimization functions, more time may be required to optimize an animated GIF than to optimize a standard GIF. And by the way, when optimizing the colors in an animation, you can't use the adaptive pre bitwall pre bitwall or selective blit. This ensures that the colors are consistent across frames. We have options here now. The first option, the first, we have steps, sorry, we have steps here now. The first step, make sure that the timeline panel is in the frame animation mode. The second step, is to optimize animation from the panel menu. The third step, set the following options. We have two options here now. The first option, bounding box. Bounding box is meaning that crops each frame to the area that has changed from the preceding frame. And animation files created using this option, by the way, are small but are incom inc incompatible with GIF editors that don't support the option. This option, by the way, is selected by default and is recommended. And the second option, Redundant, redundant pixel removal. It makes makes all pixels by the way transparent in a frame that are unchanged from the preceding frame. The transparency option in the optimized panel must be selected by the way for redundant pixel removal to work. This option by the way is selected by default and is recommended. And do not here please in this, in this option and be careful. You can to set the frame dis disposal method to, to automatic when using the redundant pixel removal option. And you can to see it choose a frame disposal method. Step number four, click OK. And what about flatten frames into layers? Flatten frames into layers. By the way, when you flatten frames into layers, a single layer, by the way, is created for each frame in a video layer. This can be useful, for example, if you are exporting the individual video frames as separate image files or if you are planning to use the value of a static object in a, an image stack we have two steps here now step number one in the, in the, in the timeline of or, or layer panel select the value layer and step number two in the timeline panel it choose flatten frames into layers from the panel menu and how to export video files or image sequences how to export video files or image sequences we have many steps here now again step number one should to choose file firstly, then you choose export, then you choose render video. Step number two, in the render video dialog box, enter a name for the video or image sequence. And step number three, click the select folder button and then navigate to the location for the exported files. And to create a folder to contain your exported file, select the create, then a new subfolder option and enter a name for the subfolder. Step number four, 
should choose either Adobe Media Encoder or Photoshop Image Sequences from the menu blue and the location section of the render video dialog box. Then you choose a file format from the above menu and if you choose Adobe Media Encoder you have the choice of CBS and H.264 and QuickTime Frame formats. Step number 5 Optional Specify format specific options from the menus below the file format menu. Step number 6 Optional again If you choose image sequences in step 4 Specify the starting and digits numbers These options by the way specify the numbering system for the exported files and then do any of the following if necessary. You should choose from the size pop-up menu to specify the pixel dimensions for the exported files. After that, click the setting button and specify the format specific options. And next, choose a frame rate from the document frame rate menu. Step number 7. Under range, select one of the following options. We have many options here now. The first option all frames. All frames is meaning that renders all the frames in the Photoshop document. The second option is start frame and end frame. It's meaning that specify the sequence of frames to render. The third option work area. Work area is meaning that renders the frames selected by the work area bar in the timeline panel. And the next next option in frame and out frame. In and out frame. Photoshop extended. By the way, specify the sequence of frames to render. The next option, currently selected frames. In Photoshop Extended, it's meaning that renders the frames selected by the work area bar in the animation panel. Note here and this, in this point, please now. Note here and be careful. The available range options depends on the file format you choose. And step number 8. Optional again, specify render options. And we have options here. Alpha channel. Alpha channel is meaning that it specifies how alpha channels are rendered. This option, by the way, is available only with formats with support, with support alpha channels, such as BDF or GIFF. And select none to ignore the alpha channel and the straight unmated to include the channel or one of the pre bright options to make the mate color with the color channels. The second option, 3D quality. 3D quality is meaning that controls how surfaces are rendered if your project included 3D objects and interactive is suitable for video games and, and similar uses and ray traced draft is low quality but less is a video render quickly and ray traced by the way final is a high quality but the video takes a long time to render and the next option Frame rate. Frame rate is meaning that determines how many frames are created actually for each second of the video or animation. And the, the document frame rate option reflects the rate in Photoshop. And if you are exporting to a different video standard from NTC, NTSC to BAL, for example, it choose the appropriate rate from the above menu. Step number 9. Click Render to finalize. And what about QuickTime export file formats? What about QuickTime export file formats? Photoshop extended. We have options. What about 3G? 3G is meaning that a file format developed for third generation mobile devices. And what about FLC? FLC is meaning that an animation format for playback of computer generated animations on workstations and Windows and Mac OS. This format, by the way, is also referred to the FLI. And what about F Flash Video, FLV? Flash Video is meaning that Adobe Flash Video is the Adobe format for streaming audio and video over the web and other networks. To use this format, by the way, you must first install FLV QuickTime Encoder. And what about QuickTime Movie? QuickTime Movie is meaning that the Apple Computer Multimedia Architecture that includes a number of codes to export audio, you must use this format. And what about AVI? AVI format is meaning that audio video interleave. Audio video interleave AVI is a standard format, by the way, for audio and video data on Windows computers. And what about DV stream? DV stream is meaning that a video format with interframe compression that uses firewire IEEE1394 interface to transfer video to nonlinear editing systems. And what about image sequence? 
image sequence is meaning that a sequence of still images that can recite within one folder and use the same numeric or alphabetic file name pattern such as sequence sequence 1 sequence 1 and sequence 2 and sequence 3 and so on so what about mpg4 mpg4 is meaning that a multimedia standard for delivering audio and video streams over a range of band of band widths and do not hear and be careful photoshop by the way also supports other third party formats such as avid avr codes codex and however the necessary quicktime codex must be installed by the way and what about understanding quicktime keyframes understanding quicktime keyframes in quicktime terminology the term keyframes refers to something different than the animation keyframes in Photoshop, by the way. And in QuickTime keyframes occur at regular intervals, intervals in the movie and are stored are complete, complete frames. And each intermediate frame, by the way, that separates them is compared to the previous frame and only changes data in stored and using keyframes greatly reduces movie size and greatly increases the memory required to edit and render a movie and the shorter inter intervals between keyframes enable faster seeking and reverse playback and reverse playback but can significantly increase the size of the file so what about 3G export setting? What about 3G export setting? For more information about 3G, 3G setting, you should search for 3G on the Apple computer website. And what about file format? File format is meaning 3GPP and 3GPP2 are standards for the creation and the delivery and the playback of multimedia over search generation high speed wireless networks. And the 3GPP is for GS GSM networks and 3GPP2 is for CDMA 2000 networks and the 3GPP mobile MP4 and the 3GPP2 is that movie and MAMC is that movie are for a specific networks by the way and the 3GPP mobile MP4 is for NTT and Doco Docomo I Motion 3G service and the 3GPP2 is that movie is for KDDI 3G network service and AMC is that movie is for KDDI subscribers with M AMC AMC capable phones and what about video and also meaning of video video choose video from the about menu below and the file format menu and this specify the following we have the video format Video format is meaning that select the codec used during video export and if your source movie has only one video track and it's already compressed you can also choose pass through so that the video doesn't get compressed again and what about data rate data rate is meaning that specifies the kilobytes per second kilobytes per second during playback and the higher kilobytes rate usually improves movie playback quality however don't choose a data rate higher than the available bandwidth and what about optimize it for optimize it for is meaning that you should specify the intended delivery means that if you choose h.264 from the video format menu and then click video options and then select the best quality and the settings so tells the codec how much the data rate can vary can vary above and below the data rate you chose you choose and what about image size image size is meaning that it specifies a standard for sending the file to a mobile to a mobile phone and currently maintains the source material size and the resulting file may not play on a mobile phone by the way and you have to choose a custom to specify a size not listed in the menu and what about preserve aspect ratio using? It's meaning that by the way, it specifies an option when you are changing the image size and the movie must be scaled to the new dimensions and letterbox scales the source proportionally for to fit on into the clean virtual aperture. And adding black bars to the top and bottom or sides as, as necessary and crop centers, scales and trims to the clean picture. And what about frame rate? Frame rate is meaning that 
should be specified the frames per second, FPS, during playback, and in most cases, your video by the way looks better if you choose a number that your source FPS is exactly divisible, divisible by, for example, if your if your source is captured at 30 FPS, choose a frame rate of 10 or or 15. Don't choose a rate larger than that of your source materi material. And what about keyframe? Keyframe is meaning that it specifies how frequently, how frequently key frames are created in the exported video. And the higher keyframe, rate lower number by the way and improves video quality but increases the file size. And what's the meaning of video options? Video options is meaning that if available, click the video options button to open the 3G advanced video setting direct box. And depending on the video, you can specify whether to add reasons, markers inside the video frames to help with back it loose recovery when streaming. And with H.264 video, you can also speed up the compression process and for preview purposes, for example, by choosing faster encode, single pass, the default option, best quality, multi pass, and allows the codec to determine how many passes are needed to compress the data for the best quality. And what about audio? Audio is meaning that all audio options are disabled because Photoshop Extended doesn't include audio is exported 3G files. And what about text? Text is meaning that all text options are disabled by the way because Photoshop Extended doesn't include text tracks in ex exported 3G files. And what about streaming? Streaming is meaning that it choose streaming from the pop menu. Below is a file format menu and specify the following. Enable streaming. Enable streaming is meaning creates a file for RTSP streaming to QuickTime player. This option by the way creates a hand track and the instructions necessary for streaming a file. And what about optimize for server? Optimize for server is meaning that helps the server to process the file faster but increases the file size. And what about advanced? Advanced is meaning that choose advanced from the pop-up menu below the file format menu and specify the following. Restrict distribution. It's meaning it specifies how many times the file can play back on the handest one once downloaded. And also specifies file expression options and sets the file to expire in a number of days or enter a date. And if your file is in, in, in mobile MP4 or EZ movie format, you can also restrict distribution so that once the file in the, is on a handest handset, it can't be sent or copied elsewhere. And what about fragment? Fragment movie. Fragment movie is meaning enables the file to download via HTTP in small pieces so that playback can start faster and so that larger files can be played on the handset and only the fragment, not the entire movie by the way, and must fit on the handset at one time. And what about FLC? FLC export setting Photoshop extended. FLC export setting Photoshop extended. By the way, the Photoshop, the following options are available by the way in the FLC export setting dialog box. And the cover table, we have two options here in this point. Cover table is meaning specifies the cover table using the Windows system, colors or Mac OS systems, colors in the exported movie. And what about motion? Motion is meaning sets the playback frame rate. And what about SBSFI AVI uh, export setting? SBSFI AVI export setting Photoshop extended. We have steps. Step number one. In the render video dialog box, you should select the QuickTime export and then choose AVI from the web menu firstly. Then, step number two. Click the setting button. And step number three. In the AVI setting dialog box, make sure video is selected actually. And note here in this point, point three. Sound options are disabled by the way because Photoshop extended doesn't include audio is exported AVI files. Step number four. Under video, you should click the setting button and set the following. We have many options here now again. Compression, compression type. Compression type is similar to that. It chooses the video compressor. Codec to compress your video. And frame per second, what about frame per second, is meaning that it specifies the number of individual images shown every second and NTCS, NTSC is generally the standard video format and is 29.97 FPS and the bell is a Ruben, a Ruben video, a Ruben video 
format that is in is 25 fps the standard for film by the way is 24 fps and quick time movies are sometimes created with a slower frame rate to reduce bandwidth and cpu requirements and the movies by the way with higher frames race display motion better and about have larger file sizes and if you choose a frame rate that's slower than the movie current frame rate by the way frame are deleted and if you choose an amber that's higher than the movie current frame rate investing frames by the way are, are duplicated and not recommended since it increases file size without improving quality and in most cases your video will look better if you choose an amber that your your source fps is exactly divisible divisible by for example if your source is captured at 30 30 fps choose a frame rate of 10 or 15 and don't choose a rate larger than that of your source mater material and what about keyframe every keyframe every assuming that specifies the keyframe frequency and the higher keyframe rate lower number improves the value quality by the way but increases the file size and with some compressors an additional keyframe is inserted automatically is too much of the image has changed from one frame to the next in general one keyframe by the way every five seconds and multiply and multiply the frames per second by five and is usually sufficient if you are creating a file for rtsp streaming and have concerns concerns about the reliability of the delivery network and you may want to increase keyframe frequency to one keyframe every one or two seconds by the way and what about limit data rate two Limit data rate 2 is meaning is besides the kilobytes per second during playback and a high and, and a higher kilobyte rate usually improves the movie playback quality by the way however don't choose a data rate higher than the available bandwidth. What about deeps? Deeps is meaning that is besides the number of colors to include in video that you export. This menu by the way is not available if the selected cool codec supports only one color deeps. What about quality? Quality is meaning that, if available, drag the slider or type a value to adjust the exported videos, capture uh, picture quality and consequently its file, its file size. And if you are using the same codec to capture and export and you have rendered, rendered views of a sequence, you can save rendering time by matching the export quality setting with your original captured capture quality setting by the way and the increasing quality above the original capture quality doesn't increase quality and but may result but may result in longer rendering times and what about scan mode a scan mode is meaning that is besides is besides whether the exported movie movie has fields interlaced or no fields progressive and what about aspect ratio Aspect ratio is meaning that it specifies a 4.3 or 69 aspect ratio for the exported movie. And what about options? Options enter into into video 4.4 only. It's meaning such compression, transparency options, and access for the enter into video 4.4 codec. And what about DV? DV stream export setting. DV stream export setting Photoshop extended. By the way, the, fo the following options are available in the DV export setting dialog box. We have options here now. DV format. DV format is meaning is besides either the DV or DV CBRO format for your exported video. And what about video format? Video format is meaning is besides either NTSC or BAL video broadcast standard. And what about scan mode? Scan mode is meaning that it specifies whether the exported video has interlaced f fields or no fields. Progressive scan. And what about aspect ratio? Aspect ratio is meaning that it specifies an aspect ratio of 4.3 or 69. And what about preserve aspect ratio using? It's meaning that it's specific an option if the movie is scaled to new pixel dimensions and letterbox scales the source proportionally to fit into the clean aperture adding black bars to the top and bottom or sides as necessary and crop centers and scales and trims to the clean picture and note here and be careful also the dv export setting dialog box 
as audio format options by the way and Photoshop Extended doesn't export audio in DV files and what about image sequence setting for QuickTime export image sequence setting for QuickTime export Photoshop Extended by the way typically QuickTime is used to export video files however you can also select image sequence from the, from the QuickTime export pop-up menu and then click setting to access the following options we have many options here the first option format format is meaning uses sorry chooses a file format for the exported images and frame per second frame, frames per second is meaning sets the frame rate for the image sequence sequence and what about insert space before number insert space before number is meaning that insert is a space between the name and generated number in the images file name and what about options options is meaning that if available click the options button and set format specific options and how to specify mpg4 export setting photoshop extended specify mpg4 export setting photoshop extended we have steps step number one in the render video dialog box you should select quicktime export and then choose mpg4 from the pop-up menu and then click setting and step number two in the mpg4 export setting dialog box choose mp4 or mp4 isma from the file format menu and the mp4 isma format ensures operability with devices made by ISMA members step number three under video specify the following video format is meaning it chooses the codec to compress your video and for the highest quality the highest quality at the lowest data rate or the smallest file H.264 is recommended by the way and if you use the file to play on a device that supports mpg4 video you should choose mpg4 basic or mpg4 improved depending on the target device and if your source movie video track is already compressed you can choose also pass through the, so that the video doesn't get compressed again and what about data rate data rate is meaning that specifies the kilobytes per second during playback and the higher kilobytes by the way rate usually improves the movie playback quality however don't choose a data rate higher than the available band widths and what about optimized for optimized for is meaning that it specifies how much the, the, the data rate can vary above the below the data rate you choose this option by the way becomes available if you choose mp4 from the file format menu and choose h.264 from the video format menu and then click video options and then select best quality and what about image size image size is meaning that it specifies the pixel dimensions of your exported video and currently maintains the source material size to specify a size not listed in the image size menu and then you choose custom and what about preserve preserve aspect ratio what about preserve aspect ratio using what about preserve aspect ratio using preserve aspect ratio using is meaning that it specifies an option if, if the movie needs to be scaled to the new pixel dimensions and the box scales the source proportionally to fit into the clean picture and adding play black bars to the top and bottom or sides size as necessary and crop center scales and trims to the clean picture and fit within size adjusts to the destination size by fitting to the longest side scaling if necessary and what about frame rate frame rate is meaning that it specifies the frame rate for the playback of your exported video and usually your video looks better if you choose a number that is exactly divisible by the frames per second fps of your source for example if your source is captured at 30 fps choose a frame rate of 10 or 15 don't choose a rate greater than that of your resource material by the way and what about keyframe keyframe is meaning that it specifies that keyframes are generated automatically or it specifies how frequently keyframes are created in the exported video and the higher keyframe by the way rate lower number improves video quality but increases the file size and what about sorry step number four mb4 file format only you should click the video options 
button and specify the following recent markers recent markers is meaning that mpg4 basic and mpg4 improved only use this recent markers in the video byte stream this can help regain synchronization due to transmission errors transmission errors and restrict profile restrict profile to h.264 only select these profiles by the way for, for for playing video files on a device that conforms to one or more of the standard profile and what about encoding mode encoding mode h.264 only specifies whether you want the best quality or faster encoding by the way and what what about is specify quick time movie setting how to specify quick time movie setting we have steps step number one in the render video dialog box you should select quick time export and then choose quick time movie from the above menu step number two click the setting button step number three in the movie setting dialog box make sure video is selected successfully and note here and be careful in this point also the movie setting dialog box displays sound options and you can't adjust the current audio setting by the way to include audio is exported files and step number four under video you should click the appropriate button to set the following we have setting setting is similar exact opens the standard video compression setting dialog box so you can set the video compression and a combining options and what about filter filter is similar exact opens the choose video filter dialog box and where you can apply bolt in quick time video effects and what about size size is meaning opens the export size setting dialog box to specify pixel dimensions for your exported video step number five optional if you if your movie is being delivered over the internet you should select prepare for internet streaming and choose any of the following we have fast start fast start is meaning sets up the movie to start playing from a web server before the movie has completely downloaded to a user's computer hard drive and what about fast start compressed header fast start compressed header is meaning that compresses the movie he header losslessly losslessly and sets up the movie to start playing from a web server before the movie has completely downloaded to a user's computer hard drive and what about hunted streaming hunted streaming is meaning that sets up the movie to be streamed by a quick time streaming server and what about quick time standard video compression setting photoshop extended and the following options are available by the way in standard video compression setting deal box compression type is meaning chooses the codec to apply when exporting a file and the motion what about motion motion is meaning that specify the frame rate for your video by choosing the number of frames per second fps and some code some codecs by the way support a specific set of frames rates and increasing the frame rate may produce a smoother motion depending on the original frame rates of the source clips and but use small desk space by the way if available specify how often the keyframes are generated and what about date rate date rate is meaning select select if available for the selected compressor and type data rate to place an upper limit on the amount of video data produced by the exported video when it's played back what about compressor compressor is meaning that set compressor options specific to the selected codec and then click the options of op the, the option button if available to specify further compressor options and if the deeps menu is available choose the number of covers to include in exported video this menu by the way is not available if the selected codec supports only one cover deeps and if the quality slider is available under compressor should drag you should drag the slider or type a value to adjust the exported video video's picture quality and and consequently is file size and if you are using the same codec to capture and export and you have rendered previews of a sequence you can save rendering time by matching the export quality setting with your original capture quality setting by the way increasing quality above the original capture quality doesn't increase quality and but may result in longer Rede rendering times and do not and be careful please here now compressor options are not available for the component video codec by the way and what about 
كويك تايم وات اباوت كويك تايم موفي سايز سيتنج وات اباوت كويك تايم موفي سايز سيتنج فوتوشوب اكستندد ذا فولوينغ سيتنج باي ذا وي ار افيلبل ان ذا اكسبورت سايز سيتنج ذير بوكس and you have options here now dimensions what about dimensions dimensions is meaning that it specifies the frame size for your exported movie if you want to specify a frame size not included in the dimensions menu and then choose custom and enter values for width and height and what about preserve aspect that you're using it's meaning that it specifies an option if if the movie is scaled to a new frame size and the box scales the source proportionality to fit into the clean aperture and adding play black bars to the top and the bottom or side or sides as necessary and then crop centers scales and trims to the clean aperture fit within dimensions adjusted to the destination size by f by fighting to the longest side scaling if necessary and what about the interlace source video it's meaning the two fields in each interlaced video frames frame 